yo so i just got back from the apple store and i just got my iphone 15 pro and i also got all the cases all the woven cases just to test them out for the phone and so you guys can know how they fit on your iphone if they look good or not so make sure you guys subscribe and stay tuned Woo. there it is so so i got the 256 gigabytes of storage one and honestly i wanted to get the 15 pro max but the thing is it was just so, like it was just taking too long i think if i get it right now it's probably gonna come in in like november or something like that so i just went with the 15 pro and the neutral titanium everyone was just taking them out but yeah let's get unboxing that's the first paper out the unboxing experience is just like top notch Is the time. It's time now. Is the time. iPhone 15 Pro in neutral titanium. Hold up. It's actually natural titanium and not neutral titanium. I've been saying it wrong this whole time. Silly me. I'm sorry, guys. I wanted to get something else, but this neutral titanium just seems to be the one for me. Let's go. Wish. That is looking crisp, bro. Damn. That is looking crisp. I bet. So let's see how the phone looks. All right. So we got the phone. Get the phone. And then we get the cable. The braided cable, which is good to see. Get the cable. And we also get the Apple thingy. All the Apple stickers and stuff. But this phone is looking very, very clean, y'all. Y'all check this out. It's looking very, very clean. All right, cool. That's all we get in the box. So in the United States, we don't get a SIM injector tool. We, we only use eSIM out here. All right, cool. Now we got the action button that they just introduced this year, alongside with the volume button on the side. The camera is looking kind of like the same. And by the way, I'm actually filming with my iPhone 14 Pro right now. So if you guys are thinking about what the camera looks like, that's how the camera looks like. And I think it's kind of like the same size. Actually, I'm, I'm going to test out my phone case for the iPhone 14 Pro. All right, so this is my phone case, the iPhone 14 Pro phone case. I think it's exactly, bro, it's, like a, it's exactly the same thing. Bro, it's literally the same thing. The only difference is the action button that they have over here. Like you remember the iPhone 14 Pro at the switch button. So that's, oh, and the keyboards don't match. Yeah, the keyboards don't match. There's a slight difference actually. The keyboards don't match. It's the same size, but they just like tweak the keyboards a little bit. So it doesn't fit. So if you're upgrading, you should know that it doesn't fit with your iPhone 14 Pro case. It's just like a very slight difference. Finally, Apple decided to add a USB-C on their product, which is good to see. And this supports USB Type-C 3.0. But I think this cable right here is not 3.0. I'm pretty sure this is not 3.0. But the 3.0 helps you with like faster transfer speeds. All right, let's boot the phone on. Weesh. Yo. I was kind of like skeptical about the size because to be honest, it's getting, it's starting to look too small in my hands, but I'll still rock with this. You know what I'm saying? I'll still rock with this. So on this phone, we get the same nits of brightness. We get about 1,600 nits of brightness indoors. And when you're outside, you get up to 2,000 nits of brightness, which we love to see. Nothing much has changed. The dynamic island is the same thing. Uh, the only difference we get is the action button on this side. The camera bump is exactly the same thing. We, we get the same 48 megapixel main camera, just a little bit of software upgrade to make your pictures and videos look more quality. But yeah, but as you guys can see, I'm currently recording with my iPhone 14 Pro right now. So, which is still solid, you feel me? All right, cool. So because I'm currently recording with my iPhone 14 Pro, I'm, I'm going to have to stop the video right now so I could set up my phone real quick. All right, chill, this is actually the next day. Setting the phone up took some time yesterday to the extent that I actually had to contact um, Apple support because I needed to update the phone before I could set up some stuff and the network was just messing up, so yeah but it's not that it's not that much of a big deal if you guys have any problem with your iphone or your apple devices it's very easy to contact the apple support just by text message and they would be happy to help you so <clears throat> now i want to talk about like what's new on the iphone 15 pro real quick 
first of all we already know the usb-c port i feel like you guys must have watched so many unboxing videos but yeah this is the beep fan so let's stick to it you know what i'm saying so with the action button i really haven't decided what i'm going to be using it for but you could technically just use it for anything basically for now i'll just leave it in the silent mode so you could use it for focus mode you could use it for pictures or your camera you could use it for flashlights and so much more but i feel like what most people are going to be using it for is the shortcut you know what i'm saying but i just love how they did the design of you being able to switch between this which is actually cool another difference in the iphone 15 pro is the titanium finish so i got this in the natural titanium i knew i was i know i was saying neutral titanium my bad guys it's actually called natural titanium honestly neutral titanium sounds better but it doesn't really matter but this neutral titanium one actually looks like the white one as well to be honest i was looking at it in this in the mall and it looked like the same thing to be honest but yeah in terms of the camera size it's actually the same size it's 48 megapixel just like the iphone 14 pro but the only difference is in terms of the software like you could take picture of objects like your dog or yourself in portrait mode without setting them into portrait mode so basically if you take a picture right now so basically if you take a quick picture and you get back home you could decide if you want it if you want to be the focus or whatever is in the background to be the focus of the picture which is actually great to be honest in my opinion another thing that i feel like people aren't really talking about in terms of the iphone 15 pro is the ceramic shield that you get on the screen now apple mentioned in the apple events that you get a ceramic shield on top of the screen which just makes the screen more durable so just like we have the titanium finish we also have a ceramic shield on the screen and to be honest that doesn't mean you shouldn't put a screen protector on your phone i still feel like you need a screen protector on this phone because it might reduce the chance of your screen breaking but you're still gonna have like scratches cracks and all that bad stuff so it's to be on the safe side i would say you put a screen protector on this phone we also get the a17 pro bionic chip on the iphone 15 pro which just in general makes the phone faster or gives it a better performance and as apple mentioned this is a very great tool for gaming because if you're gaming on your phone a lot this is just going to help you have a smoother experience as a gamer on your phone i heard like you could game in console level just with this piece of device i kind of regret having just the 15 pro and not the pro max because if i'm going to be gaming on my phone i'm going to need the bigger screen real estate but it's all good both the iphone 15 pro and the iphone 15 pro max has the same chip inside so you're gonna get the same performance now in terms of difference from the 15 pro and the 15 pro max is just the camera so we don't get the five times zoom on the 15 pro because i don't know i think it, they, they they just mentioned that it's because the the 15 pro max is bigger but i feel like they should have done the same on the 15 pro since we're buying the pro model because this just makes it seem like i'm using the same phone as the 15 pro but it's all good still now apple also mentioned that the battery is going to last you for a full day so we're going to be testing that out in the day in the live video so make sure you guys subscribe and make sure you turn on your post notification so you don't miss now my my advice to anyone that is getting this phone now just the way apple mentioned that this phone is made of titanium it's just on the side on the back you still get a glass and the front like i said even if the even if it's ceramic even if it's covered with ceramic shield it's still very very breakable is it breakable so i would recommend you get a phone case on this phone if you want to if you want this phone to last long and i'll be making videos about accessories that you could get for your iphone 15 pro so make sure you guys subscribe to this channel if you guys don't want to miss out and honestly that's all i can say about the phone it's looking really good in my opinion and lastly i just love how this phone is very light like it's very very light way lighter than the iphone 14 pro i'm actually going to be doing like a video showing you guys the difference in both in both of them i feel like in terms of the build they both look the same but there's just a different feel when you're holding them you know what i'm saying like if you hold it you could tell like oh this is a 14 pro and this is a 15 pro so yeah honestly that's it for the video guys now let me show you guys the cool looks of the 15 pro and yeah see you guys in the next one